Hi, I'm Jill Tran from Tran and Thomas Interior Design. We're a commercial and residential designer in Kansas City. I'd like to talk a little bit today about a question I get asked a lot about staging a home to sell. While we don't do home staging, I have a lot of opinions as far as if that is a smart move or not. Uh, in my research trying to do this, I found a variation, uh, but about 6% to about 25% increase in what you can make off of a property that is staged. That actually makes a lot of sense to me. And, and here's why. Uh, you know, men and women shop very differently. I think a lot of times if someone has to move out soon or if it's a new construction project or a remodel, a lot of times if it is new construction and whatnot, it might be a man that's putting it on the market, which I certainly understand what budgets are certainly a concern, uh, but you ought to balance the cost of not actually doing the staging. When men and women shop, they shop very differently. Men, it's kind of a primal thing. Whether we like it or not, uh, you know, they, they are, have their cave and men are very uh, taken by the structure and the structural soundness of a piece of property. You'll notice when they walk around, they're opening cabinets, knocking on doors, knocking on the walls, looking for strength in that particular structure. And that is why that's how builders do it. And they're proud of their build and that's they believe the same truth. However, they're forgetting who usually pretty much makes the decision on buying a property, which is the woman. And women look differently. If you've got the guy who's done all the, the cave around, what does she do? It's, she is in charge of the interior. And that is nesting, uh, carrying in for perhaps children or families or taking care of the brood. So when a woman shops, while he's knocking on things, she might notice the softness of the sofa or how much she loves the fabric on the bedspread, or even, you know, that chandelier is really beautiful. But those are the things that she notices. And so to deprive a woman of that caliber, or what would be on the interior of that house, is like selling a house that shakes. It's, uh, it's extremely important to women that they have that type of feeling when they walk into a house, because it's a feeling. And so they need to be spoken to as well when they're actually looking to sell. So it needs to be more than just the structure. Another reason to do your interior uh, as furniture and accessories and things like that is it's an opportunity to bring in light. A lot of times uh, canned lights are put into new structures or remodels or things like that. And while they have their time and their place, they're actually very severe. So you gotta be a little bit careful with that. Uh, it's much more flattering to have lighting come from below uh, a situation of using lamps and having them all nice and bright and perhaps putting them on dimmers but having all the lights on when you're looking to sell but you can bring a lot more lighting in when you've actually got lamps on tables um, another thing is there's a, a thing called mechanical reasoning most of the population does not have the ability to do mechanical reasoning that is actually the ability to see or build or imagine things finished in your head. So a lot of times if there's a room or a space that perhaps uh, they don't know what to do with that, it might be an extra room or kind of a little niche or some little area that they're unclear about what they should use it for, it really makes a very good idea for you to give that room purpose. Purpose as in putting a game table, a desk. If you've got a, a very masculine house, you might make that more of a feminine space. If you have a very feminine house, you might make it a little more masculine in that room so that there is kind of a balance between the he and the she and kind of that, that balance that needs to be in a, typically in a property. But keep in mind too, you're selling a dream. You're not just selling a structure. So by giving them definition and showing them and giving an example of what they can do in that space really is smart. Another few examples I can think of off the top of my head, uh, one might be in a living room. Uh, if you've got more of a male demographic you're looking to, you might put a television up and have all the seating focus around that television so the television is the focal point. If you're looking for more of a female audience, uh, you know, even just doing a tight uh, sitting area would be, it's really more conducive to conversation. And so you will appeal much faster, much easier to the female audience. Um, even if you are doing or setting a table, do we set the whole table so we're having a party? Potentially, if that's the lifestyle that you're trying to sell with that dream, uh, it might even be nice just to set a two-piece two two piece area. You're about to set where you've got dishes stacked, so it looks more intimate and like you're about to you know, enjoy kind of a nice romantic evening at home, just the two of you. Um, I do hope you find this very helpful. 
Like I said, we are an interior design firm in Kansas City. If you have any questions, please feel free to email me, jill at trantomasdesign.com. And stay tuned, we'll do a few more videos. Thanks.